all right what's up everyone this is a ultra phaser blast once again with the video for you we're gonna test out this video card gpu that i have installed in this computer the hd7870 by power color uh, this is the design uh, there's other ones also uh, from power color that look different like here's one that's dual fan uh, here's another one a similar one for 93 bucks no bids so I think you could get one for like 80 to 100 bucks and let's see uh, f for that money uh, you could take that money save it instead of getting uh, like a 750 Ti for example um, you'll have 40 50 bucks extra that you could use towards a, a power supply and then go for the go for the other video card the GPU 7870 which you get pretty cheap I got mine for 70 bucks on eBay Okay, so the 7870 compares better than the R7 265 according to uh, benchmarks on GPUBoss.com and and uh, according to text, bottom line is in spite of the GTX 750 ties efficiency gains, solid overclocking, low power requirement, you don't need any six pin PCI Express power to it you could just plug it into the PCI Express socket on your motherboard and uh, according to the testing by TechSpot it doesn't offer enough oomph compared to the R7 265 end quote so those are about like low budget GPUs you could get for somebody starting uh, into starting to get more into game from an integrated graphics. You're gonna get 10 frames more with the AMD, but you're gonna use 40 more watts and require a either I'm not sure if it's a six pin. Or an 8 pin PCI Express power to the the AMD 70, what is it, the R7 265. Uh, okay. So let's test one out. Oh, by the way, I'm running an Intel Xeon 1265L V3. Okay, here we go. What are we doing? We're in the garage? Why are we in the garage? Why? Let's see how the car looks from inside. Not bad. Okay. Wait a minute. Park the car. Running. Go through the door. Okay, so far we're getting about 63 frames. Where's my auntie? Oh, I'll, she I'll is. Leave it Graphics at 1920 by 1080. MSAA at X2. Um, density, variety, kind of low because it only has 2 gigs of RAM. Um, everything's at normal. 4x reflection. Let's do that to everything normal, softer shadows, anti anti-sotropic filtering at two. Everything normal. Yes, keep settings. Let's do a test.
Okay, so that was pretty good. Uh, I saw mostly around 60, 60 frames, maybe like 62, 63 ish. Uh, some dips into the high 50s, particularly at the end where the truck, the Hummer, crashes into the tanker in the intersection. Uh, that's usually where you, I see a lot of dips. Uh, this one dipped to like 57 ish, 58. Maybe you're right. Uh, which Maybe isn't bad at all. Where I look? Uh, the graphics don't have that much detail. I'd say pretty good, but not like wow. Like this palm tree, this trash can. I don't know. It just doesn't. Everything's at normal. So, it's not going to be like that much. Let's steal this car real quick. Bam. Okay. We're in the money. Okay, so right now, I'm seeing about 62. 62 FPS, 63. Whoa. 59. 59. Steal that bike. No, no bike. Okay. Shoot this guy. Are the cops after me? Oh, dude. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Drift, drift, oh, too far. Come on, baby. All wheel drive, show me what you got. Show me what you got, okay. Whoa, sorry, Mr. Smart Car. Let's see how they look behind us. Uh, I don't see them. Let me see what you say. Whoa. Damn, it's like that back bumper. Okay. How about this? Let's do another test. Okay, so we got 60 FPS, 60 plus. Dips into the high 50s, very high, 57 maybe, 59. So let's bump up the details. Let's push this uh, HD 7870. Let's push it. Texture quality high. Shader high. Reflection high. Shadow. Okay. That's how we're doing. We're already exceeding the recommended or the video card GPU memory by 22 megabytes let's try lowering this okay there we go we're in the green 2034 we got a few to spare but not too many okay so we gotta have the population density pretty low uh, i lowered the variety just slightly below density distance scaling i have it all the way up 
Let's bump up the grass quality to high. That to high. Okay, I guess we could have water on high and we're right under the the video card, G the GPU memory. We're going to apply, restart. We're gonna run the benchmark. So there you have it, testing the HD Radeon 7870 to the limit, I'd say. Uh, it plays Grand Theft Auto perfectly fine on a 1080p monitor. So if you're on a limited money to spend yeah, on a hey, computer hey, and you want to kind of get into gaming or you're feeling kind of dicey and rather than spending 130 to 150 on what would be uh, R7 265 which is slightly faster than the similarly priced NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti uh, but the pro on the NVIDIA is that you don't need another power another another connection for power from the power supply basically it just powers off the PCI slot no problemo if you have just a regular desktop that you bought from a big box store like Walmart or Target or Best Buy, you know, whoever, Fry's, um, any other vendor that sells electronics or computers. Um, point is, rather than doing that, 
you could spend about 70 to 100 bucks on something used for around the same price range or, or less than one of those new cards that I mentioned and get better performance slightly better performance um, so yeah pretty much it, it runs pretty good Grand Theft Auto high settings it hits the limit on the RAM but I think the, the process the video processor GPU itself is pretty damn good so there you go I give it a two thumbs up worthy contender okay I'm stuck Thanks for watching. Bye.